And me being like a very regimented, routine-based, organized person, I feel a lot of chaos. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Starting a new vlog. Oh my god. This braid is like Pippi Longstocking vibes. I showered and my hair dried weird when I slept, so I was like, hmm, gonna have to make this work. But I have another doctor appointment today, a meeting with my surgeon. Yeah, let's go. So I'm cooking up some breakfast for us, and I'm obsessed with the stove having this skillet. Very cool. Making some turkey bacon, got some eggs. Oh, we got a broken one. Kind of still intact, so yum. Hey guys, I just got out of my doctor appointment, uh, four months about-ish, and I've lost 75 pounds, which is crazy. Um, my doctor is very happy with that. We talked about, you know, constipation and all that fun stuff. I haven't had any issues with my blood sugar in a while, so I feel like maybe it's just sorting itself out. That's what she told me, just keep an eye on it. I have a blood sugar monitor, if I, if I have that happen again, I'll keep track. I didn't know how much of this journey I was gonna share in the beginning. I definitely wasn't expecting to share as much as I have, for sure. Uh, but, you know, the way you guys responded, you really wanted to come along on this journey. and. I kind of thought originally if I shared, it would be a little intrusive and you guys might not want to hear about it, but you guys have been overwhelmingly interested. And I'm like, well, honestly, I feel like we found kind of a little community. A lot of you guys have also had the surgery or have been thinking about getting the surgery. And uh, it's been really nice talking to you guys and sharing this journey. And like, I'm so overwhelmingly thankful for the positivity that's come through on this surgery the last few months. Like it's been so surprising. I just really, I don't know. I just didn't know how it would go. And so uh, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm sharing. It seems like you guys have been just loving it. So I wanted to keep you guys posted on that. And I'm just, I'm feeling really, really good. You guys seem to notice a lot of the time that I'm acting like myself again. And it's not like, as I've said before, it's not like I wasn't happy before, but I definitely did feel the pressure of my weight affecting how I felt, you know? So yeah, feeling good. Happy that I had that appointment. My next appointment won't be until six months. And then I think after that, we don't meet again until the year mark. So that is the update. Time to go home and unpack some more. So I don't think I ever updated you guys on Yar's coffee bar. It looks amazing. Uh, this was really hard <laughs> to finagle. It's actually still a little imperfect right now. Well, I moved there earlier. By mistake. I uh, thought the switch protector wasn't on. Oh. So, I could so if I there. finagle it again, it will be Gucci? Yeah, you don't yeah, have to move it again? Don't press the surge protector. Okay. Again, you know, <laughs> the struggle is real with this, guys. Um, but actually, it looks pretty good. I had all of this because Yar, Yar deserves his coffee bar. He loves coffee. This is his little section the drink cooler below it. So he's got like a grinder. We we'll use this for tea because I'd be drinking tea too. We've got this little stand which matches really nicely. Those are both from Target. Um, and then espresso maker and a Keurig on quick days. And then up here, um, you know, we have some aesthetic coffee stuff as well as like some cookbooks. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little update here. Uh, we're gonna go do another Target pickup. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I am breaking out so bad. <laughs> Menstruation, baby. It just gets extra bad when Aunt Flo comes to town. But good morning, it's the next day. Last night I actually ended up organizing our master bathroom closet and I love the way it came out. I did a little time lapse, so here is that. <laughs>
work on, I think, the closet today. Excuse me. I think we're going to work on the closet today. Um, I started, like, we both started taking stuff out of boxes and putting them in our closets just to, like, uh, have stuff to wear because like we only packed enough for a couple days and we've just been like digging through boxes but it's a dreary rainy day today so it's like a little bit hard to get motivated but it's uh it's gonna be good yeah like we've just been, <laughs> we've just been like finding boxes for like the last week trying to find stuff to wear we've got some stuff in our closets <laughs> i haven't even touched my office organizing you know the bathroom and then the kitchen was a big priority and also the pantry <laughs> the pantry the pantry the pantry also very exciting guys we set up our new bed frame this morning super simple and minimal our last bed frame was broken and then also i don't know about you guys but i love fresh bedding after a move i have bought from brooklinen before but they wanted to sponsor this video so i'm very 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 thankful they have some of the best best bedding so i have been saving these for the move i got them in a couple weeks ago and i'm like i'm saving this for the move so i'm gonna go ahead and wash these now and then we can make the bed i'm so excited so i got the core sheet set in the luxe fabric i got a flat sheet fitted sheet two pillowcases then i also got two more pillowcases because we have four pillows and then a duvet cover so i will wash this and i will be back to make the bed oh my god a fresh bed with brooklyn and i'm so excited all right it is later i just made the bed and i'm sitting on it now it feels so good i love that brooklyn has super high quality bedding without a crazy price like Lux bed sheets can be super expensive and Brooklyn and cuts out the middleman for a more affordable price. Like their classic and Lux bundles range from 200 to $250, but comparable luxury sheets are around $500. You can also, instead of buying individual items, save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover like we have here. These are the best selling Lux sateen sheets and they are the ultimate bedding upgrade you guys these feel like heaven perfect for elevating your sheet game these sheets feature a luxurious 480 thread count and they have a slightly luminous finish they feel literally just so buttery i personally love a minimal simple set of bedding but you can choose to mix and match from 20 plus colors and patterns to fit your particular style you guys know that i love a classic simple design when it comes to home decor um but this fits our bedroom vibe so perfectly these are a total essential in our new bedroom and brooklyn is actually offering you guys my viewers a special discount of 20 dollars off any order over 100 dollars. that's a good deal so just click the link below and use code alexandra r and as I said, I've bought Brooklyn and Sheets a few times now, and I'm obsessed. They're truly like the most comfortable sheets I've slept on. I couldn't recommend them more. So I'll put a link down below in the description box for you guys to check them out. And now that we've got our bed ready, we can start this very long day ahead. Um, we've got a lot to do, so let's let's get started. Okay, so I actually decided I want to tackle the pantry because we have the rest of the kitchen all set, so I feel like... I just want to get the kitchen totally good so I can like organize our food because like we only have access to like our refrigerables right now and everything else in the pantry is still in boxes like dry mixes and things like that. So first I'm taking everything out of boxes. I was very cautious when I ordered everything. Um, everything's from Amazon. I will link it but I like have a list in my phone of everything that I got for different sizes. I ordered labels from Etsy, expandable spice rack, but I'm gonna use that for like canned goods. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take everything out of the Amazon boxes first, and I'm gonna put everything on the island so I can really get like a clear idea of everything we have, and then we'll get started.
Okay, so we've got everything out of the boxes. That alone took an hour. <laughs> so this is a long journey, but as you can see, I need to wash the canisters with the wood tops because food is gonna go in those. Um, everything else is gonna be holding like bags of things. So I liked these. I will link all of these. Um, I liked this one because it had kind of like an opening. I thought, I don't know, you could kind of do like a saucy situation or anything in bags. I only got a couple of these small ones from miscellaneous. I want to do um, like potatoes and onions and things in here because it's cool and dark in the pantry. Um, I got some thicker black ones too. We got a couple of Lazy Susans to put in the corners. I got a bunch of these for like back stock. And like I told you guys, I already kind of planned these out with the little labels that I got on Etsy as well. Um, I really liked her shop. You know, they have like pre-made labels and stuff, different options, but then you can also, you know, just do a bunch that are customized. So I got like pasta, back stock. I got a lot of back stock ones for those big containers. Um, just like a lot of our staples. Uh, I wanted it to be a little bit more customized. Like I got PB2, granola, almonds, bark thins, um, stuff that we always keep in the house. So now I'm gonna go wash and dry all of those and then I will be back to actually start organizing. Okay, they are all drying. <sighs> now we can put on the labels. And then I think I'm gonna take everything out of the pantry um, just so we can like, I don't know. Actually, I think putting everything on the island is gonna be the best, like for pantry food, and then placing all of our containers and things um, for placement and then add the food. So I think that's my system. Okay, so I have been opening up pantry boxes and as you can see over here, I'm starting to put the food on this table because I'm like, why should I move all of that to put the food on that when we've got two, count them, two tables. And like a lot of this stuff is just like random. Like, hi, this is not pantry. Um, but it was in our last kitchen. So it's like, it just kind of ended up here. <laughs> I don't know how much food we even have. Here's our granola. Our little coconut chips for when we do like acai bowls. Lasagna. Got a bunch of like um, protein bars and stuff, which is what I got these ones for. In the picture, they had like protein bars stacked. Don't mind this big old wet spot here. Croutons for his salads. PB2 collagen powder. And I'm breaking down the boxes as I go. Trying to stay organized the best I can. I don't know how on earth I underestimated this project so badly. <laughs> like I knew it would be a long project. Like I expected like mm, four hours, right? It's been two and a half and this is as far as I've gotten. And then we also got a delivery um, midway during this project as well. So I guess that took some of the time. We only have this pantry box and then one more. So hopefully there's none anywhere else kind of misplaced. Cause as we've been unpacking, there was like a couple things, you know, in like random places. So hopefully this is all for pantry. That's just like full of all the stuff that was in um, like our pantry baskets behind the pantry door in the last house. Yeah, this one's really heavy too. Oh, and then I learned to assemble this spice rack thing and it requires a screwdriver. I don't know where the screwdriver is right now. I don't know where anything is right now. <laughs> oh, but that is just my moving destiny. Moving is stressful. And me being like a very regimented, routine-based, organized person, I feel a lot of chaos when things are not where they are supposed to be. So that's why I'm like just tackling everything as quick as I can. But uh, it's been difficult. <laughs> 
know what? I think I'm gonna pause and put the labels on the jars. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that now, BRB. All right, I couldn't even video that because I was too stressed. I was like, there's too much pressure. I'm not gonna vlog putting them on, but I will show you them now. I tried really hard to do them straight and all around like the same height of each one. Um, but I think they look really, really good. All of our staples. Okay, so now I can start filling these things up and see what we need to order from the grocery store. And I think I'm just gonna like uh, take this as I go in stride. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna actually put all the containers in there and then fill them up as we go. <laughs> oh God, this is, <laughs> this is really a big undertaking, but let's just take it one step at a time. so so happy with it of course it being like the first finish it will change on its own things will naturally kind of just you know adapt as we live but I'm really 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 happy with it this whole thing took about five hours I'm so tired I'm gonna take a little nap <laughs> because I want to do more it's like I've kind of gotten in this groove with like unpacking we'll work in the morning then we'll take a nap and then we'll do another project. So let me give you a quick tour. So here is the overview. I put the pretty stuff right in front. It's like kind of a lot, <laughs> more than I thought. And some of the labels, I don't know how they're so crooked. Like I was sure, I really took my time. <laughs> and like there's four of them that are super crooked and I think I'm gonna order new labels. So, you know, I'm just gonna order a couple new ones to fix the few that are crooked. Cause yes, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> but on top we have uh, our liquor. We have just some extra uh, coffee pods and teapots for yards and paper towels over there. We've got all of those that you saw already. Down here we've got like granola bars, protein bars, cooking stuff. Um, yeah, over here is more like baking stuff. I got Lazy Susans in these corners thought it made the most sense so you know you can see everything in the corner which is super convenient and you know we've got some spots that have some extra space like we have room for more soups and like crushed tomatoes canned things up there because we don't have a ton right now but I love these I actually couldn't have them straight because like they fell through here but I like them angled again everything I use will be linked We've got these three bags for like chippy kind of things. Backstock items down here that are labeled backstock. Protein shakes. And just like random things down here like our backup protein pasta, some whole grain brown rice. Kind of snacky stuff that's yours. Um, but yeah, that is the pantry um, for now. I'll let you guys know if I update anything. But so far I am 
totally in love with it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys, I am pooped. It has been quite a day. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I can't wait to crawl into bed in my Brooklyn and sheets. Don't forget to check out Brooklyn and like you will not regret it. The most comfortable sheets ever. And don't forget you guys can get $20 off your purchase of $100 or more with the code Alexandra R. It will be linked down below. Thank you again to them for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'll see you guys very soon. <laughs> Bye.